Hey guys, Triforce Doom here. And Drake Razorfang. And it's time for trial one of Dungan Rumpa 2. Byakia was murdered. We've done all the investigating we can. Uh, if you want to, you can quickly look over the uh, truth bolts in the E handbook uh, to check the details. X to expand the details. Mm -hmm. It's always good to give a refresher to those who might not have watched this LP in a while, or just don't recall the game details. Yeah. Alright. And both AC timers were set to 1130. Hmm. And there was basically a transcript of what happened. But when it was happening and they were all question marks, I actually thought the owl was Biakia. Ah. Being like, oh yeah, that's him getting stabbed. But, nah, nah, nah that wasn't really possible. Mm -hmm. Good boy. And there we go. And that's everything. Let's begin. As a reminder, we are on what's equi the equivalent of medium. <laughs> Now then, let's begin with a simple explanation of the class trial. During the class trial, you will present your arguments for who the killer is and vote for who done it. If you vote correctly, then only the blackened will receive punishment. But if you pick the wrong person, I'll punish everyone besides the blackened, and that person will earn the right to leave this island. S such a cruel rule. Before we begin, I'd like to confirm one thing. Is there really a killer among us? Most definitely! There's no doubt that the black yep, is just, working just the absolute you. confirmation to the characters that yes, it is one of you, there's no way out of this. I'm laughing at something a lot dumber. <laughs> the the Nagato line? Yeah, among us. Yeah, yeah. Such a sad yeah, that person's been fucking ruined. Isn't exactly. It? By the way. This class trial is gonna be 100% fair, so there's no need to worry. That's bullshit, you know it. I'm the type who hates favoritism and prejudice. Well, not as much as I hate Monami, of course. <laughs> you hate me that much? Now, let's begin. Y you're telling us to begin, but what are we supposed to do? No complaining, let's just settle this with our fists. Uh, no, that's not how that works. Were you even listening to the rules? Didn't that Byakuya bastard get killed in the dining hall, huh? Then everyone there is a fucking suspect. Yeah, yeah, what you're really trying to say is that you're not the killer, right? No shit. You guys went off on your own and started killing each other. This has nothing to do with me. Huh? What does that mean? Anyway, why don't we try talking about the most pressing issue on our minds? All right. Huh. The most pressing issue on our minds? Not yours! Is where we found the body. It's very strange to find a body underneath the table. I love how is just thing. constantly swinging. Mm -hmm. Alright. Here we go. Yep, non-stop debates, we know these. 
Find the contradictions. I guess you're mostly waiting for the refresher on the controls. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. Alright. Yeah, I believe they still start you with only like one or two truth bullets at the start. Here we go. Oh, three of them. Okay. Okay. If I recall, L1 is switching the bullets. Mm -hmm. Why was Biakuya's body in a place like that? His body was underneath the table. Oh, I forgot it's now in, uh, like, a distance meter. After the killer murdered Biakuya, they probably moved the body there. Huh? Why? Obviously by hiding the body. They tried to delay its discovery. Like a dog um. burying a bone. Ah. Uh. Me, 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 Oda, please. Why was Biakuya's body? And yeah, circle speed up. His body was under the very back of the dining hall. Ah, it's not as funny with the speed up voices. They probably moved the body there. No. No, that's wrong. Sorry, what you got, y'all? No, I don't think the killer moved the body. Huh? I do. I, I actually have to double check what uh, Hajime's uh, Japanese catchphrase is later. Mm -hmm. Try to remember what the body looked like when we found it under the table. Though there was a lot of blood everywhere, there was no sign the killer actually dragged the body through. So that's why you think it's impossible that the killer moved the body. I get your point. Yeah, Biakia was big enough that uh, just dragging him would be the only way. <laughs> and here I thought I had a genius idea. Too bad you're so stupid and boring and unpopular. Your life is meaningless. Fucking Christ, I Yoko. Better to praise, you know. <laughs> but so you don't you worry you like this. The body, why was it under the table? Biakia was probably killed under the table. What? You think he was killed under the table? He yeah, literally just said, said that. So Biakuya <laughs> snuck under the table for reasons unknown, and that's when he was killed. Then, shortly thereafter, he found his body under the table. Th that does make sense, but why did he go under the table? Obviously, he was hiding so he could surprise us. That dude was always a big jokester. Him? I, I don't think so. The hell he was? You seriously couldn't tell what kind of person he was? <laughs> Look, it's been well established that Kane is not the brains of the group. <laughs> it's a blackout, not an earthquake. Just because the power went out doesn't mean he'd dive under the table. If anything, he'd hit the table. Mm -hmm. The reason why is probably connected to what Byakuya was doing during the party, don't you think? Alright. And yeah, push square if you need a reminder of what the question is. This maybe? Um, I'm actually forgetting what the answer is, I'm not gonna lie. It's connected to what Bianca was doing during the party, then it's probably this. If I had to guess. Nope. Crap! Okay. Well, yeah, yeah. The, the, the second game does assume you at least know the fir you played the first game, so it kind of follows the same logic. So it is a little tougher, but yeah. Uh, let's see. This is my next guess. Um. Probably the uh, Duralumin case, maybe. I could see it being that, maybe. Okay. Tr tr maybe try the uh, knife or whichever one marks the uh, paint. Mm hmm. Or wait, no, during the party. Oh, wait, no, never no, mind, we're good. I was thinking maybe Ibuki's account. Hmm. Probably but you know, we got it. Knife? Oh, 
Oh, you mean that thing that obviously screams, I am the murder weapon! Not that. Bianca, you probably noticed the knife was hidden there. So in order to get it, he moved under the table. He was particularly sensitive to the presence of dangerous items. Yeah, that makes sense now, because he was, yeah. Possibility. Understandable logic, we just kind of fucked up at first. There is a knife under the table. Mm -hmm. If he knew beforehand, he probably would have done something about it before the blackout, right? Then, instead of knowing about it beforehand, maybe he saw it right at that moment. Like, for example, he might have seen someone trying to take the knife out from under the table. I think he would have shouted their name, but... No, that's not possible. How do you know you weren't there? Huh? You seem rather confident about that. Of course. I have proof to back me up. <laughs> this is almost like a real trial! Oh, mm. here we go. Here we go. Byakuya ducked under the table during the blackout. That sounds correct. If that's the case, during the blackout, Mr. Ham Hands. She still called him that. Seen the killer take the knife, but it was super pitch black. It was so dark I couldn't see my food. Byakuya couldn't see in the dark either. Uh, I doubt he could have seen the killer. Gotcha. Yeah, I think they would be not some debates are pretty easy. It was the evidence part that tripped us up there. Mm -hmm. I'm sure Byakuya ducked during the black. That sounds correct. If that's the case, during the blackout, must have seen the killer. But it was super pitch black. It was so dark I couldn't see my food. Byakuya mm. couldn't see in the dark. No, that's wrong. Here we go. No, Yakuya was probably the only one who was able to see in the dark. Why do you say that? He was using those night vision goggles we found under the table. He could have seen what was happening. So, are you saying Yakuya was the one who used those night vision goggles? Yeah, that seems to be the case. Your reasoning is out of focus. Oh, here we go. <laughs> No, that's obviously wrong. It should be the other way around. Other way around? Seriously? The killer used those night vision goggles, not the Akuya. Say hello to the new mechanic of the game. Rebuttal showdowns. Kind of left stick. Okay. Yeah, we'll, well, we'll get to that. So basically, I uh, cu cut through their remarks until I get to a weak spot you can actually uh, refute. Hmm.
Now, uh, what, what many of these to stick, actually, like, flick in the direction you want to slice. Mm. You just use common sense. I think. The killer obviously uses like, night vision goggles. Flip the stick. That's gotta be it. There you go. I can't back down. Mash. Oof. <laughs> that happens if you were close enough to where it could be considered a tie. That's gotta be it. Ta-da! Get the idea? Where's your proof that the killer used them? Also, I love Rebuttal Showdown's theme. Oh, well, you know what to refute now. Mm -hmm. Ah, uh, you were supposed to use triangle there. Oh. Yeah, triangle to present the evidence. Got it. Got it. Just use color. The killer obviously used those night vision. That's gotta be it. All right. Where's your poop that the killer used them? Yeah, unfortunately, if you fuck up really bad, it'll uh, backtrack. Even in the dark. In reality, that's what happened. So those goggles were planned in advance. The killer brought them to the crime scene. Allow me to cut through those words. Fun mechanic once you get the hand of it, right? Mm -hmm. Definitely the one who brought those night vision goggles. Definitely? But why? Inside the Duralumin case Byakuya had with him during the party, he found a smaller case for storing the night vision goggles. Which means we can assume that the night vision goggles were kept inside that Duralumin case as well. Woohoo! I said assume! Ibuki never uses such clever language! Oh my god. Byakuya <laughs> was the only one who could have taken the night vision goggles out of the case. Since he was carrying it around before the blackout in the first place. Yep. I see. When you put it like that, it makes sense. Then, was that knife inside the case too? If there were night vision goggles inside, it wouldn't be weird for a knife to be in there too. It would be weird. I am weird, aren't I? At times like this, I'd rather be fantasizing about the same dish. Ooh, you totally mean that in a perverted way. Terror, terror, why are you like this? I see. I love the updated visuals for this game. Under the table where the body was found. Probably hit the knife by duct taping it to the underside of the table. Oh, so that's why we found duct tape there. Though Byakuyo was thorough, even he couldn't have noticed a weapon taped to the underside of the table. This may be off topic, but why was Byakuyo Ah, uh, here we go. Not only did he bring a self defense kit, but he had night vision goggles inside the case, too. That's true. He went above and beyond being a little cautious. Now that you mention it, that applies to the dangerous items he confiscated as well. It's one thing to be a little cautious, but performing a body check is a bit much. He probably knew someone was planning to commit a murder. Are you saying he predicted the murder? Could it be? Was he also in possession of the all-seeing eye? Wouldn't surprise me, but no. You think so too, right, Hajime? Prove it with this. Everyone, can you please take a look at this? Yeah, but one thing that's been catching me off guard is the purple outlines on all the like character sprites. Mm -hmm. All right. Hey, the hell is this? Hajime and I found this in Yakuya's cottage. It looks like a threatening letter someone sent for him. So who's the someone? We haven't figured that out. Nobody besides Monokuma would write such a dumb, threatening letter like that. Wasn't me! 
Are you sure? The only lies I tell are friendly lies. That means shit. <laughs> it doesn't matter who wrote it yet. So, Yakuya became paranoid because of this threatening letter? He probably decided to throw a party because of the letter. What do you mean? By gathering everyone in one place, he tried to create a situation where everyone could keep tabs on each other. In doing so, he tried to put the writer of the letter in a situation where he couldn't act. But the letter might have been just a little prank. As long as he was determined not to let any of us die, he couldn't take that risk. His strong sense of responsibility yep. made him believe the letter was legitimate. You should have told us you received a threatening letter. If he had, we would have panicked. Yakuya probably knew that too. So, he tried to do something about it without telling anyone? Yes. Strong sense of responsibility as our leader was his undoing. Screw that noise! Who the hell wrote that letter? Well, obviously, the killer. And here we go. Already show yourself you can. one thing I will say I legit forgot my hero was the first one to give you a rebuttal showdown mm. If they were willing to come forward, they never would have committed a murder in the first place Um, pardon me. Can I say something please? What is it Miss Sonia? I regret that I must return to this topic, but I just realized something concerning the night vision goggles. If Byakuya was indeed wearing those goggles, how did the killer manage to navigate in the dark? But, um... You're right. They wouldn't have been able to see anything without the night vision goggles. But if the murderer had the goggles when they took the knife, then how did Byakuya see them? Even if the knife bore some sort of mark, it would have been difficult to see it in that darkness. Hmm, glowing paint. Yep. I see. God, imagine using the dishes as a mark. <laughs> paint was the mark. With that, you'd be able to get the knife even in the dark. In actuality, the knife we found under the table, and the duct tape stuck to the underside of the table were both marked with glowing paint, right? Does that mean the killer painted them in the dance? But painting them with glowing paint? It's as if they knew the blackout was going to happen. Mm -hmm. They had to have already known. That's why they used the glowing paint as a mark. Which means whoever set up the blackout is the killer. That seals it. The killer is whoever was in the office with the circuit breaker. Which means it was you, Peko Pekoyama! <laughs> Peko killed poor Byakuya? Was this island not big enough for two glasses wearers? <laughs> oh, I guess she's not. Oh my god. How can you believe her so easily? But with Echo's height, I don't think she'd be able to reach the circuit breaker in the office. I, I don't care about a technicality like that. Echo's the one who tripped the breaker. So that flies. There's all the electronics being turned on at once that broke it. To be fair, we're the only ones that really investigated that. Mm -hmm. Ooh, here we go. Ooh, so, so, um, remember how in the first game, to agree with people, you more often than not had to absorb their statement as your own? Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, <laughs> push X. Agree spots. Agree spots. Use evidence to back up claims. Mm. I love this update. Yeah, you can tell they learned from the criticisms from the first game. Mm. Yes. Sometimes the gray spots are like, hey, what? Maybe they did this. Maybe they did this. Maybe they did this. You know, everyone's shooting their shot and you having to figure out which one lines up with the evidence. Other times, you know, it's actually picking a side. Mm -hmm. 
The increased spots were such a good idea. Oh, okay, it counts. Okay. Yep. Since Pekka was in the office, she could have caused the blackout at any time. That's impossible. Huh? Why is it impossible? Because I was not in the office. Not even before the black eye. What happened to your guard duty? Sorry. Oh, you weren't in the office? That's clearly a desperate excuse. I'm pretty sure it's Nekomaros and agreeing with Pepper. Since Pekka was in the office, she could have caused a that's impossible. Huh? Why is it? Because I was not in the office. Not even before the time. I agree with that. Here we go. Well, I think Pekka was telling the truth. Mm hmm. Don't tell me you're crushing on Pekka. Shut up. And it's nothing like that at all. Nikomaru's account is actually Pekka's alibi. It's true. Someone was occupying the bathroom for a long time shortly after the party started. And it was finally freed up after Byakuya's body was discovered. Uh, then the person who was in the bathroom that whole time was actually... Everyone else besides Pekka was in the dining hall after the party started, right? Process of elimination! So there's no way anybody else could have locked themselves in the bathroom except Pekka. I... I guess that would be... True. You locked yourself in the commode? You should have said so earlier. There's no way she'd actually say that. Gosh, you are so insensitive. <laughs> she locked herself in the bathroom for that long? There's no doubt. Shit. Nekamaru <laughs> with no tact. <laughs> oh, there's no way she'd admit it. There's no way she'd admit she was taking a shit. Need I plays. Hey. Weren't you guys taught any basic manners, or were you raised in a locker room? I'm sorry. <laughs> it's fine. How about we stop talking about this and move on to something else? Don't worry. The smell wasn't that strong. I Need I? Right after you, so you can trust me. Bruh, please. I said it's fine. But still, you were in the bathroom for a really long time. Did you get food poisoning or something? As soon as I stepped into the office, I felt this sudden rush of pain in my stomach. Because of that, I was unable to leave the bathroom, including when the blackout occurred. Hey, how did it feel to do your business? Okay, let's take the last. <laughs> no, we're not even going to entertain that. But still, your stomach pain. Was that really just a coincidence? Hey, what's the deal? Don't butt into other people's business, especially if you didn't do any investigating. <laughs> I'm only butting in because you fucking idiots are out of your element. Stop this childish nonsense. Just what do you mean by coincidence? What I mean is, is it possible someone slipped her some laxatives? Laxatives? If so, the killer could have tripped the breaker as soon as that girl left the office, don't you think? I see. That might have happened. Here we go. Did you eat anything weird? I don't remember eating anything weird. Now that you mentioned I remember who the other person who ate was, right? Mm-hmm. You okay. to the office, right? Just a little bit from the dining hall. There might have been some laxatives in it, don't you think? Toto -to -to cooked the food, how suspicious! <laughs> I wouldn't do anything like that! Yeah, I feel like those chef would not want to taint his own uh, talent like that. Did you eat any? 
Just self checking what the details are. Mm hmm. It. You brought food to the office, right? Just a little bit from the right. dining. There might have been some laxatives in it. Nice yeah, shot. Thought that was a little high. Yeah, I thought so too, but damn. No, it's impossible that laxatives were slipped into the food in the dining hall. Because Pekka wasn't the only one who ate that food. The Kani ate some of it too. Well, like a lot of it. Mm -hmm. If the food had laxatives in it, I'm pretty sure Akane would have had stomach issues as well. I feel totally fine. And there you go. I said that the dishes are innocent. Don't go making weird accusations. I apologize for causing a scene. Fuyuhiko should apologize, not you. He's the one who made the laxative accusation. Hey, he's just covering bases. What did you say, bitch? Cease this bickering. Let's just dismiss Pekko's stomach ache as a coincidence and go back to discussing the blackout. Yeah, yeah. We already know that, you trashy skank. You don't have to tell us. Trashy skank? Good lord. All right. Hmm. I like how they did actually did make it a coincidence. Mm-hmm. And how did they do it? If you can't answer that, I'm gonna bop you on the head. <laughs> did they throw a stone and hit it? No. Maybe they used a remote control? No. They probably messed with the breaker. It does Maybe. not have to be the breaker. They may have tampered with the power supply and transmitters. Maybe. Or maybe they caused a power surge? There we go. I bet it's really Monokuma's fault. <laughs> Uh, no. By the way, I'm not a trashy skank! Of course. <laughs> okay. Who tripped the breaker and how- If you can't answer that, I'm- Did they throw a- Maybe they used a remote control- They probably invested with the- It does not have to be the- They may have tampered with the power supply and transmitters. Or maybe they- And here we go. I agree with that. Alright. Just as my Wu said, the blackout was caused by a power surge. Of course, that's not a coincidence. Someone caused it intentionally. Which is why those three irons were arranged to cause the blackout. And there it goes in the AC as well. Right the well, the, 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 that's probably going to be for when we cover how they did it at the right time. Mm. So by leaving those irons on in the storage room, they deliberately caused a power surge. Yeah, it seems that's how the killer caused the blackout. And there it is. Oh boy. Hold on a second. Let me speak too. What the heck? You say the irons in the storage room were used to trigger the blackout? That's inexcusable. What now? We'll get there. I love the rebuttal showdown theme. The and for the killer to turn the irons on. You're saying they went all the way to the storage room? And that means Remember, keep so, keep fighting. Some take more than one hit. I can't back down. Nice. No, just because people were in the dining hall doesn't mean they're not a suspect. The people in the dining hall weren't able to cause it. If the irons caused them, then the killer had Wait. to go to the storage room before that. Oof. Damn it! If the irons in the storage room caused the blackout, then for the killer to turn the irons on. You're saying they went all the way to the storage room? Then that means everyone who was in the dining hall when the blackout occurred can't be a suspect. No, just because people were in the dining hall. Doesn't mean they're not a suspect. All right. 
But the people in the dining hall weren't able to cause the blackout. If the irons caused the blackout, then the killer had to go to the storage room before that. No, it would have to be the AC timers. Now do you intend to take back what you said? But the people yeah. in the dining hall weren't able to. If the irons caused the blackout, allow me to Let's cut see. through those walls. Yeah. It does take a bit to get used to it. Mm -hmm. The irons are just one reason the blackout occurred, but they weren't the direct trigger. The direct trigger was when the air conditioners in the dining hall and office clicked on. The air conditioners! The timers for both air conditioners. There's a Patrick to go absolute ham. Mm -hmm. 11:30 p.m. Mr. Ham Ham's died around that time too. I see. When the timers activated the air conditioners, the breaker was tripped and caused a blackout. I see. I understand. Indubitably. Indubitably? <laughs> Indubitably. They probably checked the old building's energy usage in advance and used the irons to nearly max it out. So once they set the air conditioner's timers, they just had to wait until they started up on their own. If so, even if Pekka was in the office, it still would have been possible to cause a blackout, indubitably. Indubitably. <laughs> Miss Sonia, not you too. It's a fun word! <laughs> Regarding the energy usage, they probably asked Monokuma about it. Dun dun dun! Is she right? Such a hateful fear! You deserve to die a thousand deaths! I'm just imagining Monami Masatsuing him. I died that many times, I might really stay dead, you know? Masats! You guys just stay quiet! I couldn't have prevented the blackout even if I was in the office. Even so, I feel regret. If I was in the office, I could have reset the breaker in time. And maybe the murder wouldn't have occurred. No. The breaker in the office was built into a high area of the wall that's impossible to reach. Whoever set that up should have been fired. <laughs> mm -hmm. Resetting the breaker in that darkness would have been impossible, no matter what. Sounds like you don't need to blame yourself. Even so, the killer is so sly. I'm starting to worry we may never actually find them. It's alright. You don't have to worry. Because they're just a petty killer, right? They can't defeat symbols of hope like you guys. There's no way everybody will lose now. This little incident will just be a stepping stone for you all. In the end, hope always wins. That's what I believe. And why is the despair music playing? <laughs> Nagito? W what happened to you? Huh? What do you mean? Well... You have been saying this whole time that there's no way a killer could be among us. Oh, is that so? Well, let's just put that minor detail aside for now and talk about the incident. For now, we found out how the blackout occurred. But the question is, who caused it, right? Anybody could have hid and set the timers for the air conditioners. Setting up the irons in the storage room could have been done before Byakuya set foot in the old building. What a shame. Any one of us is capable of that. What are you implying? He's just saying, after all this time, we still haven't made any progress. Huh? Even though we have been arguing for so long? Welcome to Dr. Ronfa. This is the truth. Despite the fact that we've discussed this at length, there's not even one clue that leads to the kill. But that might be because there's no way any of us could be a killer. You're changing your story again? Anyway, I have an idea about what we all should do at this point. Has anyone thought about our situation like this? Instead of surviving by doubting others, isn't it better to get killed for believing in others? Doesn't that mean... Are you saying we should all just give up and die? Nagito, there's definitely something wrong with you. <laughs> You guys only think there's something wrong with me because there's something wrong with you. Suspecting each other like this. There's no way that's healthy behavior. Let's stop this already. We don't have to find out who the killer is. 
I can't stand this anymore. I don't want to do this to my friends. But I don't want to do this either. <laughs> me too. Please, take me home already. Ah, I want to go home and eat candy. Stop it. If everyone acts like this, I... I'm gonna... Everyone calm down. We're all friends, aren't we? There's no way one friend would murder another. Then why did Byakuya die? Who cares? Let's just give up already. There are no clues that lead to the killer anyway. Not a single one. That's wrong. I think. Did you say something? <laughs> we, we've already found a clue that might point to who the killer is. You know who the killer is? The killer? I don't know. But we do have a clue about a suspicious person. I think. I see. Then care to tell me... What's this clue you're talking about? I'm probably gonna turn down the game music uh, after this part, make or something. Mm -hmm. Actually, hold on. Can you push square real quick? I'll go to settings. Guys, yeah, that might as well just turn it down now because it is kind of loud compared to some of the voices. Right. Didn't we already cover that? They use glowing paint as a mark. No, not that. I mean before that. Let's try examining the situation. My hero's diagram might be useful here. The diagram of where everyone was standing before the blackout, right? Um, here it is. What are you thinking? Hmm. Well, I was kind of suspecting that Kazuichi was causing stuff, but by the diagram, you would think that Nari Nagito is the one who is closest because he could have followed the cable from the lamp to the table. Choose what they might have used. I can't point to the. Oh, uh, you, you just push triangle to uh ch to uh choose a spot, I believe. Or X one of the two. Here, yeah, there we go. Hmm. Killer must have used the desk lamp to move to that table in the dark. The desk lamp. I hope you don't mean they turned on a light or something. There was a blackout. There's no way the killer could have used the desk lamp. I can prove it with this. I feel like they didn't accept the power cord. Mm -hmm. They didn't turn the desk lamp on. They used its power cord. Power cord? They could have felt their way to that table using the power cord, right? By doing that, the killer was able to move to the table and use the glowing paint to find the knife. And there's only one person here who could have done that. Who? All right. You're the only one. Here we go. <laughs> Nagito, it was you, wasn't it? I've been noticing that speck on the TV the whole time. It's been bugging me. There we go. It's gone. Everyone's positions before the blackout. The only person near the power cord was you. Which means the only one who could have felt their way to the table using the power cord was Nagito. <laughs> That's just a coincidence. But still, you had a chance, right? 
A chance to hide the knife under the table? Hmm. <laughs> this seems not so clean. I see! Nagito, weren't you cleaning the dining hall all morning? If so, you would have had a chance to hide the knife. That's... If you factor in the power cord and the time you spent cleaning, you're the only one who could have done it. Seriously! That's all just a coincidence! If it was just if one coincidence, it'd be fine. There we go. But when it's one right after another... Yeah. I wonder, is something like that even possible? Could it be? Did you give yourself cleaning duty on purpose so you could hide the knife under the table? I mean, we determined that by lot. So now that I don't you know about that. Nagito did prepare the drawing to pick who cleaned the dining hall. Didn't you? That's how you got picked to clean the dining hall, isn't it? I don't know if you're the killer or not, but regardless. I mean, it's honestly less that he raked right? it and more. <laughs> if that's the case, that strange speech you made earlier, that was part of your plan, too. You got us to lower our guard and tried to hide the fact that you did it. Didn't you, you motherfucker? Well, just admit it already! <laughs> Nagito, tell me you object to this. Frankly, I don't want to believe it either. We investigated together. You were so kind. I can't believe you're the one who killed Yakuya. <laughs> Nagito, say something! to the chase you're correct it was my doing all along I'm the one who hid the knife under the table before the party started I'm the one who used the power cord to find my way to the table in the dark and of course I'm the one who caused the blackout after all, there's no way I'd knowingly whip out a knife in front of everyone, right? Uh, is it just me, or does he seem a little nuts right now? <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> That's a loaded-ass question. Yakuza have night vision goggles. Because of that, we had ourselves a little scuffle under the table. And, well, you all saw how that played out. What are you thinking? I, I don't know if I'm like, I don't think that he's actually the killer. Because I don't think the knife and the like wounds that she found are the same. Alright. Twist ending like this? I think we can all agree this ended up being a very interesting mystery. <laughs> Yakuya performed admirably. Just stop it already! Seriously! What the hell happened to you? By the way, can I say major props to Bryce? Mm-hmm. Don't tell me. Is this your true nature? Were you lying to us this entire time? Me? Lie? That's outrageous! There's no way someone like me could ever lie to you guys. I understand better than anyone else that I'm ultimately worthless. 
too arrogant to have dreams or cling to hope. Too disdainful to actually try at anything. I've made peace with the fact that I'm a lowly, stupid, insignificant human who can't do anything right. Holy crap! He's totally the type of guy who spent his childhood killing neighborhood pets! Good lord, Ibuki. He seems like the sort of person whose eyes light up while watching Friday the 13th. Just like me. That's uh. like the hobby you have there. But, like, now's not really the time to bring it up. Yeah, so he has a bit of a horror buff. Hmm. Hey, Nagito. Mm. If you were behind all of this, then did you also send that threatening letter? Yep, I sure did. Mm. There's nobody else on this island whose handwriting is that painful to look at, right? I kind of wonder what it looks like in actual kanji. In the first place? I think somewhere deep in my heart. I was probably hoping to find someone who would stop my evil deeds. Well, I bet if that really was my reason, at least some of you would feel sorry for me. Are you making fun of us? Oh boy. By threatening Yakuya, Nagito was likely able to manipulate his actions. I keep seeing specs, and it bugs me. Mm. Doing so, Nagito was able to manipulate everyone to the scene where the murder would occur. Am I wrong? That reminds me. Nagito was the one who suggested I guard the office. Suggestions it was all a trap to manipulate us. Yep, that's true too. But you're wrong about one. Thing. So I think the remake of two might be a little less stable than ones, because <laughs> I've noticed some sprite popping. Uh, huh? What? Either it's just because we're playing on PS5. I don't wrong. fucking know. Cleaning duty, you know. Mm. If that's true, then how did you conveniently get picked for cleaning duty? He's the ultimate lucky student. I see. Well, there's no way I'd expect you to remember it. A worthless talent for a worthless human. <laughs> that second one, good lord. Mm -hmm. You're the ultimate lucky student. Then, did you? That's right. I just trusted my luck. I trusted I'd be picked for cleaning duty. You just relied on your luck? It's not just luck. It's true my talent sucks, but I'm still the ultimate lucky student, you know? I mean, for those of you who've seen Deadpool 2, you've seen what Domino can do. Mm-hmm. Or just anyone who's read her comics at all. At the time, Hajime said I wasn't lucky, but it was actually the opposite. I was lucky. That's why I got picked for cleaning duty. Just like I wanted. Enough. That... I don't care about that anymore. More importantly, why did you kill Byakuya? Answer me! Byakuya was a very capable leader. For someone like him to get killed... It's only fitting that you symbols of hope should use his death as a stepping stone to shine even brighter. Yeah, his morality's kind of a uh, fucked. <laughs> that was my only motivation. You're not making any sense! Fine, let's start the damn vote already. I'm ready to fucking kill this site. Please, Monokuma! Please, wait! Oh, here we go. Huh? The fuck? Here we go. Um, what are you saying? He's already confessed, hasn't he? 
Oh, but he wants to get everyone killed. I already know that, but... Uh, there's just something a little strange. If it's only a little, then keep your mouth shut. Your ugly face is stressing me out. It makes me want to puke. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, for now, might I suggest we listen to what she has to say? But we know who the killer is. Simply listening is acceptable. However, I won't allow this to end with mere play. Now then, let us lift the curtain for our bloody spectacle. And now white noise starts showing up. We know how to deal with this. We can't shoot it down yet. Let's just say that for veterans. Kind of weird how they didn't put those in the same tutorial, but whatever. Mm. Uh, I think it's strange that the killer is so obviously Nagito. Um... He has already confessed. That bastard Nagito is the one who did it. He killed Byakuya with a knife he hit. Oh, no. Thanks for wasting our time, Skanky Bit. Then let's prepare to cast our votes. Uh, I think the killer is so okay. Uh, Here we go. He has already uh, you know. That bastard Nagito is the one who did it. He killed Byakuya with a knife. Oh. No, that's wrong. Sorry, who are you? That knife might not be the murder weapon. That's what you wanted to say, right, Nikon? What the hell are you talking about? It's obvious the knife was the murder about weapon. About that. But based on the entry wounds on Yaki's body, the actual weapon should be roughly five millimeters in diameter. Five millimeters in diameter? That's like way skinnier than a knife! Hey, that better be true. If you screwed up, I'll sell your fucking ass to a whorehouse! <laughs> not a whorehouse! Good lord. Hey, why are you threatening her? Is this what you're trying to say, Mikan? As long as we can't prove that the knife is the murder weapon, we can't assume that I'm the killer. What are you saying? No one else can be the killer. It has to be you. Hey. Don't blame me. Mikan's the one who said it. I'm sorry. Hey, Nagito. Are you still hiding something? Uh, hiding? Like, during the blackout. Did something happen between you and Byakuya that we don't know about? Who knows? After all this, what else do you intend to hide? Jeez, the moment your back's against the wall, you get all silent. You piss me off. Pretty sure everyone pisses you off. What happened during the blackout? Hmm. Oh, if you cross your eyes like this, it gives you double vision. Goddamn, Nibuki. Don't get distracted. Our lives are at stake, you know. Huh? Whose life is at stake? Oh my God, Akane. Seriously, how long is it gonna take for you to understand the damn rules? Nobody can see in the dark, no matter how hard you think about it. The truth is beyond your sight. Don't you think that's a pretty clever metaphor? Despite the fact that it came from me? No, that's not it. Not it? What's not it? Someone could have heard. There it is. Isn't that right, Ibuki? Oh, real? Oh my God, Ibuki! You were the one who told me. Remember? While everyone was shouting during the blackout. 
And now for a recap. Calm down. We gotta stay calm in a situation like this. Ah, don't step on my feet. What the hell? What's going on here? This, this is. Ow. Turn the damn lights on. I can't eat like this, you know. You guys. So now we can assume we know what that owl was about. Mm -hmm. Was it the blackout just in the kitchen? Perhaps the breaker overloaded? Hold on a sec. I'll go along the wall and do something about it. Such perceptive hearing. Impressive. I'd expect no less from the ultimate musician. It's a good thing your ears are awesome because your face, style, figure, and personality totally suck. Hot meat kettle, have you looked in a mirror recently? <laughs> You've cut me deep with your knife of truth! However, after hearing what Byakuya and Nagito said in the dark... What the hell? What's going on here? This, this is... Ow! It almost sounds like... Byakuya fought back against Nagito or something. Well, that's actually what happened. As a sign of respect for Ibuki's talent, I have a small confession to make. I was actually shoved out from under the table by Byakuya. He shoved you out? Just as the blackout occurred, I hurried to duck under the table and grab the knife. But Byakuya, wearing his night vision goggles, caught me and shoved me right out from under the table. That's right. I'm so incompetent that I couldn't even grab the knife. I've been wondering if that purple background's meant to be there or not. Hmm. I'm gonna check the wiki while this is going on. What the hell? What's going on here? This, this is... Ow! After getting shoved out from under the table, I was just as confused as you guys. I lost sight of the glowing paint, and I didn't even know where the power cord was. Before I realized it, the lights had come back on, and the Akuya's body was lying under the table. Oh, hold on! Are you saying you're not the killer? From the very beginning, the idea to throw a party, hiding the knife, setting up the blackout, it was all going according to plan. But unfortunately, my plan failed. And all thanks to Byakuya's night vision goggles. What happened after that? Even I don't know. <laughs> you failed? Th then you're not the one who killed Byakuya? Then we're right back to square one! How can that be? We spent all this time talking back and forth! I know it is part of the background. I was checking the wiki for strange caps. But you can't give up. Kind of a weird choice for the background. Do your best and move forward. Rising to the challenge again and again is why you guys are the symbols of hope. So do you get do you get what his weird twisted logic is supposed to be? Sort of. I also get a sense that he wants them to pick him so that his death kills everyone. His, his whole thing is use despair to make her hope even bigger. Mm. So he's trying to trial by fire their asses. There's a safe point. Oh. I... Well now. Yep. That was part one. Circle button actually does. Goes back. No, so circle button is for the fast forward button. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, there's 
no ten billion dollars either. You're so evil. All right. So that was part one of trial one. Yeah, for, for this, from this game onward, the trials are going to actually be multiple parts where the game gives them actual break points. Oh, boy. Because, you know, actual natural break points. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, with all that said, this has been the Triforce of Doom. And Drake Razor Fang. Peace out. <laughs> yeah, I legit forgot that the first game didn't have break points until we played the first game. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs>